Hello everyone, this is Team Data Clan and we are presenting a project on the topic Electricity Generation Analysis and Prediction for India. This is a small video depicting exploratory data analysis and later a demonstration of the same. So data analysis basically consists of cleaning and transforming data to get important insights. The next three line graphs show the estimated versus the actual electricity generation for different energy types. This graph shows thermal power generation estimated versus actual values. This graph, graph represents nuclear power generation estimated versus actual. And the last graph represents hydro power generation estimated versus actual. Uh, the graph, these graphs are generated by using the Seabone libraries. The left side uh, describes the total estimated power by different regions. The right side shows the total actual powers by different regions of the country. The month wise estimated versus, versus actual power generation. Here, the contribution of April and May are slightly low because the data for the lockdown was not available. This is the state-wise distribution of the national share in the total electricity generation, where the Rajasthan is in the lead. This graph shows the region-wise distribution of national share, where the northern part is at lead. So this is the region-wise state count. Here you can see that northern part is in lead. So this graph indicates the linear relationship between the national share and the areas. Hello everyone. So here, this is the web app that we have deployed using the Streamlit library for our prediction model. Uh, in the left hand side, you can see, like you can see the navigation bar where the user can input the energy values for different regions and different energy types. Say we have five regions, eastern region, west, east, west, north, south, and northeast. Simil and for each region, we have different energies, such as for eastern region, we have hydro energy and thermal energy. For eastern region, we, have, we don't have nuclear energy. And for others like western, northern, and southern region, we have hydro energy, thermal energy, and nuclear energy. Uh, so here, from this navigation bar, the user can change the value, the estimated value that he or she wants to give. For changing the value, we can just slide the slider in this way to any value we want to. Also, the minimum and maximum, the minimum and maximum value that the slider has are the minimum and maximum value of our model or our data set that we have used to train our model. From that, we have derived these values. And so now if I slide the slider to say for 39.73 uh, on the right hand side, you can see there are different there are buttons like we have total of these many buttons and for click when you click on any of the button, you will get the energy predicted for that region and that energy type. Say we I change the value of hydro energy. So if I click on the predict hydro eastern region here. So I'll get the details such as the user data was estimated value of hydro energy 39.73 what I have given when I slide when I did this when I changed the slider to a specific value and the predicted actual value of hydro energy that our model that our model predicted. Uh, similarly, you can go for like if I go for southern region and I select uh, I change the user val input value of thermal energy to 648. So here on the right hand side, the uh, screen will uh, itself rerun and uh, it will clear the previous out output. And now I can go to the predict thermal southern region button and click on it, which will show me the data of southern region, the uh, user value that is 648.1 and the predicted actual value of thermal energy that we a model has predicted. In this way, you can click on any button to see any of the energies and you can change the values from the, from the left 
to any value and when you change the value you can click on any button and see the value so this is our model